Battlefield is here with challenge number two, so it is time for us to go ahead and tackle this challenge and see if we can do it. What's up, beast people? Tito's here, and welcome to a brand new Dokkan Battle video. So I'm kind of sick today, so if I sound weird or start coughing, I'm sorry about that. I want to apologize, but. Today we're diving into uh, Dokkan Ultimate Clash Virtual Dokkan and we're gonna do the brand new challenge that's on it because apparently there's a new challenge and of course the thing is I've already done it, alright, I've already done it but I only did it once and I didn't want to record this, uh, like I just couldn't wait to test it out so I did it before recording but I wanna dive in and see if I can actually complete it again. I, I want to see if I can actually do it yet again. Now, of course, you guys see on the screen, uh, yes, I have the Vegeta. In the end, I was able to get the Vegeta. Uh, the box is looking pretty lit. Uh, let me show you guys the box real quick because you guys do like seeing my box from time to time. And this is the top of the box. Uh, we have pretty crazy stuff here. Uh, we have Rainbow Jiren. We have Rainbow Golden Freezer there. We ha There's a lot of characters that got rainbowed. I got the Gohan here as well, as you guys can see. We have the Gohan. So, yeah, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, like, the box got really, really updated. And especially today, after we got the rewards for ranking up and all that, which, yeah, if some of you guys get surprised by that, it's because the rank up missions got into global, and you got a ton of stuff for that. Like, it took me a while to get rid of the, no of the number notification thing. Well, let's go ahead, today, we're gonna go into Ultimate Clash, and we're gonna see... How do we take this, okay? Because, of course, I want to do these videos as well just for you guys to, like, have as a guide. Like, how did I do it in case you guys do have the characters but you don't really know, like, what teams to use on this. I would say, uh, my characters are already selected. I'm gonna go with the same. I would say do a team of supers for each color and a team of extremes of each color. And after that, if you still have space to choose characters, which will will you will obviously have, uh, basically just do an extra team that might be a category or a rainbow team that could be strong enough to maybe help you finish off an enemy, and you should definitely have enough teams to beat this challenge. Now I'm just gonna confirm and I'm gonna move on because I'm not gonna go around selecting all of them again. So, let's get started. Now, here, my thing is, on my game, uh, my super teams are better than my extreme teams, so I try to use my extreme teams first. I'll leave the super teams for the last ones that are way stronger. So, here we have extreme intelligence, so I'll go ahead and use my extreme uh, fizz. Because fizz is better than, is stronger than for intelligence, but I'll use my extreme team. And this is my extreme fizz team, and I'll go with cooler. I think freeze is my best sub lead with 70%. <coughs> Sorry about that guys, I did warn, I'm kinda sick, but um, yeah, Broly is the same, is 70%, uh, this Ginyu is not that good as a sub, there's one either, yeah, I, I always went with Frieza, so I'll just do the same, and I'll basically, I, want, I will not bring Ginyu, cause Boo is better as a support, like, I mean, Ginyu does have, give key, but I prefer Boo though, I prefer Boo, so... Let's go with this team, though. This is gonna be my first team. And we're gonna go ahead and tackle this intelligence. Captain Ginyu, though. I love this new mode, though. This new mode is amazing. I freaking love it, honestly. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play on this mode. And... I don't know. I just have a lot of fun bringing, like, the best characters, the best teams you have into a challenge. And I feel like it is it is so much fun just because of that because you get to use like the best you have Against these pretty strong opponents Because honestly Dokkan events. They're just there to awaken the characters. They're not that difficult Like the most recent ones of course can be kind of tough, but it's not the same This here is a challenge It really puts you to the test because you cannot use the same character or the same team twice so, it is much more difficult, and you do get rewards for it, you get stones, you get Elder Kai's and everything. And that is awesome, honestly. The first challenge we had for this, for Ultimate Clash, uh, 
I wasn't able to beat it like the first three or four times because I really wasn't doing my best. I, I had to think through. I even made a little list of like, okay, I need to use Extreme first, then Extreme SDR, Extreme AGL, and then I'll leave the Supers for the last ones. Like, I really had to plan it out. And now that I already did that and I'm more familiar to it, with it, I was able to just go into this and be like, okay, I'll use Extremes first and then Supers. And I was able to actually do it because... I did not take into account that, of course, my extreme teams would actually not be that good. And that is kind of crazy if you really think about it, because I do have good characters. Like, you look at this team, these are, like, some of the best Fizz units, and I do have them, like, 10 out of 10. They're not rainbowed or anything, but they are Awakened, 10 out of 10 on SA. But overall, the team, if you bring it to, like, level 3... Uh, on Ultimate Clash, it's just not gonna do it. It is just not gonna do it. And this is um, a good example is how I brought this uh, Extreme Fist team to Intelligence Goku, which is like the strongest one on level 3. And this team literally did like two bars of damage on it and I lost. It, it was crazy. So... So yeah, because of course I had to, like, I tried testing out like, okay, let me see if I can do with the Extremes at the end, but I wasn't able to, so... Really, my planning of leaving uh, supers for the last is the best, because super teams are definitely, definitely much, much stronger. And of course, overall, super characters are, are a bit better. I do hope they buff a bit the extreme class, though. And okay, here we have extreme tech, and here, uh, I, w I can easily, would easily go, oh, let me just use my super int, but wait a minute, if you have your extreme int team, bring it now because this one is weaker than the, the tech unit that you're gonna have to defeat way um, further on the challenge which is a super tech I believe I believe it's a Vegeta so we do need to bring extreme int this time because extreme int it's weaker than my super int so and here I use boo because he's of course the extreme intelligence lead and this the boo is actually a pretty good sub lead he gives 90% I believe or wait never mind 70% but I believe is the best one so yeah and then I just bring all of these other ones and baby is here because he doesn't have decent link and because if he can go great ape that's gonna actually give us at least some free turns depending on how long he can stay as a great ape and that's why I use it it's a cool unit honestly I want a new baby though I want a new baby I want a Dokkan fast baby to be like the I don't know, 2 4 category lead, and then you would have like the the Goten, Gohan, uh, Vegeta, and some others like Possessed by Baby on the category. That would be awesome. Oh my god, that would be so cool actually. There's so much Dokkan can do, like this game can literally last forever. Oh my god. Okay, now that I'm seeing this, um, this is probably one of the battles where I need to be a little bit more careful because because uh, Vegeta might be able to do some crazy damage on us and it okay the placement is good like that because the boo is the weakest one on the defense so I really don't want him to take a hit and uh, yeah that's another thing it really puts you to the test because you do need to be really careful other videos that I really want to do as well are the super battle road videos I really want to do those like I was already able to beat I think it was STR extreme str with my super str team i do want to test going into the other ones but uh i might do videos on that honestly i feel like videos on that is cool like i'll just showcase uh, like the best team i have for like a color and go into that and i feel like that would be pretty cool to see as well and those are pretty challenging as well like it's really tough so those would be really interesting videos to see and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in seeing those. Because your feedback is always appreciated. Like, you guys always go with wh whatever I upload. But I do appreciate the feedback, though. I want to see what you guys like the most. And this here is a pretty tough uh, turn. Because Ginyu is like the tankiest one. But I can only put him in one place, though. I, I think I'll leave Boo on the last one. Because Boo does tank better. Yeah, I'll leave Ginyu in the first, because he attacks th three times. That's a lot. So, I might as well just do that. Now, Baby's not going to get a super off, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, though. He's not really here because he does a lot of damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's not enough. 
Dang it, Boo is not gonna get it either. Doesn't matter, I'll get the red orbs out of the way. So I can have some purples for the next turn. But yeah, see, this is the thing. Like, my extreme intelligence team, it's really not that good. It's, like, these are the best units I have for it. This is the best I can do as far as an extreme int team goes. But it's really not that great. I can't pull off super attacks every time. So, yeah. And, okay. What do we do here now? Okay, Frieza can tank easily. Uh, cooler is tanky as well. I guess we'll do just like it is. Oh man, I really don't want to use all those uh, purple orbs on this though, because they're all already at super. I don't, I don't need to use that. I guess next one we'll use them, because now I have no choice. And the next one is supposed to be the weakest, uh, like the weakest character. So I guess at least as far as key goes, they are not as good as gathering key altogether. So. So yeah, I guess we'll do like that. And here we go, Supernova. Bam! That does so, that does so little damage, honestly. Cooler is really good, but only as a support. And I feel like that's why this team can be a little bit good. Like, like it's not great, but it can be a little bit good just because it has decent supports and... I mean, it does have a couple of characters that do damage, like Boo, Golden Frieza, but yeah, it's not it's not really the greatest though. Now here, Baby cannot tank at all. This would be the best option, but of course there's no links activated like this. But honestly, I'd rather do this than like receive lots of damage. So, but man, I don't want I don't want to use like everything on him. He doesn't need this much key. Maybe? Oh wait, whatever. I need to put Ginyu up first though. Or I can also switch around and maybe hope that they will finish him off. So yeah, there it is. Some ad popping up. Amazing. Love when that happens. <laughs> Kit Kat app. Yes, I'm not sponsored by them though. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. Kit Kat, sponsor me, okay? We need a break. We need a break here. <laughs> We need a break. The channel needs a breakthrough. That is true. The channel needs a breakthrough. Come on. Like, it's stuck on the subs. When am I gonna get to 3k? And there it is. Okay, they actually finished him off. That's awesome. Pretty good. Okay, level 1 is completed. We're doing pretty good. See? Uh, like, it's my weakest teams, but they still can do good. As far as the color is the right one. So, again, if you do think that maybe your super teams are weaker than your SDR uh, extreme teams, do that then. Make sure you do that. I'm still getting rewards though, that's awesome. Even though I don't need all of these medals, because honestly I have them all maxed out. Like, with the rewards we got today, they're all maxed out. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, here. Uh, you can always check progress up here, in case you don't know. And uh, on level 2 we have Fizz, HL, and STR. And on the third one, we're gonna have STR again. So, I will need to use two AGL teams. And, uh, and that's pretty much all I really need to... I had to worry about. And I was kind of scared that my extreme AGL team would not be good for level 2. But in the end, it will be good. So, you guys will see. We're gonna go into Extreme Fizz. And here, it's another case of, oh my god, what do I do, super or extreme team? Now, I did use first my extreme team because I made sure that uh, I was not going to need to use STR team in the future. And you don't, there's no more Fizz enemies. So, I started with my extreme team and this one actually did pretty good. And for the extreme team, of course, I have... Uh, Janemba as the lead, we have LR Broly the sub lead, and then I just bring the the monsters all around. Now I could bring both Broly's, but that, I don't know, I don't know if that actually works. Last time I did, I did it like this, I had Majin Vegeta on it, because of Rose, some links work, and, and that's pretty much it. That's all I did, so you know what, I'll do the same, let's see how this goes. I brought this team, I'm gonna use it again, but, uh, I was kind of scared that maybe my STR Extreme team would not be able to take on this. Because again, uh, last time I d actually did not have the LR Frieza on the team either. So I guess the team overall was a bit much weaker. But uh, now, 
it's pretty good. Now the team is looking really nice. And let me see here. Okay, Frieza, I guess you can take these. Yeah, you can take those. I'll get you to super. And uh, you can take these. And yeah, we can definitely super with Broly as well. There it is. Bam. Okay, good turn here. Pretty good. And uh, yeah, again, um, it's all about just bringing the weakest you have and then you you leave the strongest you have for the last ones but it is still scary though it is still really scary like i'm doing this i'm like i've done this before like i, I i'm almost sure that i can win but it's still scary because you never know like out of nowhere they crit you or double hit or whatever i don't know or in the turn you're not looking and you place one wrong to tank the your opponent's uh, attacks and you lose <laughs> Honestly, it's really easy to go and lose on this. So, that's why I'm trying to like keep attention on what I'm doing. Now, of course, I'm not a pro at Dokkan. I mean, I, I kinda know. I'm not a, like, for example, a pro on links and like what's the best to link up, like down here and everything. I do know rotations, but here on these challenges, I don't really look at the rotations. Like, I mostly just care about being able to survive. Like, for example, here, I easily would put Rosé on the last spot. Why? Because he can tank better, but I do know that I'm only going to get it in two turns now. I'm not going to be able to get it uh, right away, which sucks, but at the same time, it guarantees me surviving all of those attacks altogether, because sometimes I place a weaker character here on the last spot, and I got bodied. That's all that happens. I just get bodied, and that's why I've learned that rotations and these type of things they most of the times do not really matter. They do not matter. They're just there to trick you. So, rotations is good when you feel like that team has a good overall uh, synergy of defense and offense. But in these cases where I'm using my extreme teams, where I'm not sure if they're going to be able to tank, I just don't risk it. I really don't. So, I, take thi I do things like this one. Like... I put Rosé on the last spot, which might be unconventional, might be really weird, might be a really bad move, but look at this, he's tanking. I can trust him to tank all of those attacks. <laughs> so that's basically how it work with this. And here's the same thing. Like, for example, he's gonna super on the very first slot there. So who am I gonna put up front? Of course I'm gonna put, for example, uh, I, I think Janemba is better, because wait, Janemba has the guard, right? Guard activated against all attacks. Medium chance to evade enemy's attack. Okay, there it is. So, Janimbo would be the very first. And, I mean, Jace is not a bad of a tank either. Actually, this turn, they all tank very well. They almost have the same defense. So, on this turn, I really don't need to worry that much. So, I'll just do this. Janimbo will be first because he, can, he probably can dodge that super attack, which is going to be awesome. If he does. If we get lucky for him to do that, that's going to be awesome. So, and there it is. We got super on everyone. Now, Janemba, come on. Pull through. Dodge it, maybe? And no dodge. Okay, there it is. Still 44k. That's that's quite the damage. If he hadn't had, uh, like, type advantage and everything, we would have taken some heavy damage. But it's good, though. It's all good. Again, Janemba is, is good to take. So, we're doing good so far. This one is probably like one of the closest uh, battles, I think. Cause it, uh, gen uh, like Bojack has a lot of health. That is definitely a thing. He has a lot of health. And here, this is another one of those crazy turns where, yeah, Vegeta cannot tank. Hit can kind of tank. Broly should not tank after super attacking, cause he's definitely gonna get a super attack. So. This is definitely the best, yeah. He's gonna get all these yellows. He's not ultra, but it doesn't matter. And I guess Vegeta will have to use these here. I'll save some reds for the next turn though. So that's gonna be that's gonna be good. Okay, we should be able to survive like this. <laughs> Like, you can never be careful enough, I swear. Uh, like, maybe someone is watching this and it's like, dude, you're you're being way too careful. You don't need like your team is good. Don't worry about it, but I just like to play like this, because sometimes I really just get surprised out of nowhere. So, 
I'd rather be cautious and guarantee the win. I'd rather go slow than try to like destroy him really fast and get bodied. Honestly. And here it is. Okay, the last health bar. We good. And look at it. He actually took those pretty well. Only taking like 18k or 19k. And I want to sneeze really bad right now. Holy fuck. Okay, here it is. Rose, Janemba, and Frieza. This is like literally the best three together. Literally. This is the best you can ask for. You just put those two here, and this is awesome. Oh, why did I do that? See? I to oh, never mind. Frieza's still gonna get an Ultra. And there it is. We finish him off with the best three here. <laughs> the three monsters of extreme STR. Gonna finish them off. Is Rose gonna kill him straight up? And there it is. Rose straight up killed him. With the 1.2 million. Not even bad. Okay, there it is. Yo, this battle literally the longest one. Like, we're already here for 20 minutes. That is crazy. These guys are gonna be quite the long ones, but hopefully they're entertaining enough for you guys that like watching my Dokkan videos though. I do appreciate anyone that supports this content because this this content here is the toughest one to have done because you need to grind a lot in this game and you do need stones to get stuff and stones sometimes to get some extra ones require money as well and you guys' support actually sometimes can help with like the extra 10 stones I mean that's always two single summons you never know <laughs> And uh, here we're gonna go with Extreme AGL, because he is a, uh, wait, no, never mind. Uh, Extreme Tech. Extreme Tech, yeah, that's the team, okay. Here, again, another team. Extreme Tech, be bad. But, if it loses, it doesn't really matter, because there's no more AGL enemies, so I can just go and finish him off with my Super Tech. So, we're gonna go ahead and do Frieza and uh, Masked Saiyan. Because I don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I don't have it. So this is the best mix-up I can have for like the, the leads. And we'll do uh, this. There it is. This is my... This is the best I can make for now. As far as uh, extreme tech goes. And uh, this enemy here... Like, he's strong. But he has one thing though. He only has 4 health bars. So he's a bit easier to take down. If you have strong offense, though. So he's gonna be a bit easier to take down. But of course, don't get comfortable. He's still pretty tough overall. Like, he, he, this is Battlefield. Don't take anything lightly on this challenge. And here's a Masu is actually not really good to tank anything. So, I'm yeah, this is the best. I'm gonna leave it like this. Now, who do I want to take more key, though? Because that's one thing this team has. They don't have key. Like... It's really bad to get key with them. Really bad. Now Bardock can get all of this. And... Oh, almost. Didn't make it. He did not make it. Okay, Goldo made it to the super attack at least. But yeah, this is literally the worst this team has. That it's really hard to get key. And to pull off super attacks on them. But again, not too worried. Because I do have my super attack team waiting. If this one loses. And it might even happen, because you guys already saw. One super attack he did, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going down real fast. This team is definitely my worst team, definitely. Look at this, no links at all. <laughs> what? How am I supposed to do this? I guess I'll do it like this, and yeah. I mean, we're definitely going to lose on this one. We're definitely going to lose with this one. So, it wouldn't be a flawless win because... I did get a flawless win because on this one I feel like I've used my super tech straight up. So, I did not lose any of the teams. And that's probably what I should have done because I did not need to use this one. This team is literally extra. Like, it's... It's literally that. I did not need to use extreme tech. But hey, at least we got one health bar down, so... If that's a, an accomplishment, it is. So there it is. Okay, we lost. No worries, though. Now, in this challenge, when you lose, you can still continue. As long as you have characters, you can still continue. Now, just, to sh just so you guys see the difference. I guess this will work as an experiment. 
to see the difference between extreme and super. Look at super. I mean, just looking at this, you guys already know this is insane. Like, I'll just bring the two Super Saiyan 3s. Vegito, Super Saiyan 4, Gotenks, the LR Goku, because why not? And Super Saiyan Gohan, and this is already insane. Of course, maybe someone would like change a character for another, like maybe put Android 18, because she's an awesome nuker as well. Or Android 17. Yeah, you can put all of those as well, but I'm gonna just keep the theme for Super Saiyans. So. And Gohan looks awesome. I love the new Gohan Super Saiyan 2 Awakening. This tech one. It looks amazing. And it's a pretty decent support, so why not? Why not, am I right? And here, oh boy. Oh boy, look at this. Automatic supers. Such a contrast from the other team. Like, this is literally day and night. They have nothing to do. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this alarm just popped up. <laughs> I have the drugs. <laughs> Don't take drugs, guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that that was kind of embarrassing. Uh, yeah, that's for me to take my daily meds though, because I'm sick. I've already said it, so yeah. That, I mean, I call that drugs, because I mean, meds are drugs, but don't, it's not actual drugs. Dang it! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that just happened. Okay, continuing though, I know where I'm gonna get comments about that. I swear, I'm gonna get comments about that. My channel is all about memes. I swear. All about the memes. Okay, so moving on. Uh, we beat it AGL. Okay, pretty good. And here, I'll need to use my last extreme team uh, against this Broly. Because there is two extreme uh, enemies on this challenge. There's this one, and then on the level 3, you need to battle an STR uh, Goku Black. Goku Black is stronger than Broly, so it, of course I'm gonna leave my Super AGL team for the Goku Black, because he's much stronger. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go into Extreme AGL. And of course the best team I can do is literally what I have on the screen. <laughs> like, I can't do better than this. And it's an okay team, actually. It's, it's an okay team. Like, literally the worst I have is what you guys saw, uh, Extreme Tech. That one... It really needs improvements. If I would get maybe Super Saiyan 3 Broly, uh, maybe it would do better. If I would just have better extreme tech units, because I don't really have a lot. And... Uh, okay, let me see here. Okay, there's some links. Thank God. <laughs> I'm gonna put Berter up first, because he can uh, probably dodge. So, I will do that. And I guess I'll give him the blues, because he, he is pretty strong. He's rainbowed, so he, he's good. Frieza, though? Huh, you're not gonna pull it off. Maybe I didn't need to use as many orbs on him, because he can super attack earlier. I forgot about that. So, well, what's done is done, so we'll go with this. We'll go with this, and Berto, you better dodge something, so it's worth me putting you on the first slot and wasting all the orbs on you. Okay, there it is, he dodged something. <laughs> he dodged something, he heard me. I feel like he heard me. He totally heard me there. This Boo is one of the oldest SSRs I have in the game. Oh my god. And he's not good at all. Like, how can he become useful? <laughs> when does he become useful? Now, here we can literally leave this as it is, because honestly, already all supers, and they're all good like this. Like, all good. Just gonna clean up the warp space so we can have more, a bit of more orbs of the same color on the screen. So we should be good like this. Alrighty then. Bam! Catch that, Broly. Oh boy, easy doing damage. This is another, I feel like this is one another battles that it's kind of close. Like, we could, I beat him, but it was pretty close. And this one actually decides if I can win the, the ultimate clash overall, because if I can't beat this Broly with this team, then I have literally nothing else to finish him off. 
So I wouldn't be able to beat Goku Black on the third level, then I wouldn't be able to overall beat this whole challenge. So, so hopefully this does work. And I think I'll do like this. This Frizz is kind of a tank. He does have a passive, I think. Uh, I think his passive, uh, yeah, reduces damage received by 90%. So that's pretty good. And Bertur can dodge and all that cool stuff. So yeah, we're gonna do like this. And of course, it blocked off the blue orbs. Dang it, I was gonna use it on the LR. Thank you so much, game. I love you too. Ah, <sighs> boy. Now I didn't use all the orbs on Berter, so I would get the the orbs for the androids, but never mind. And there it is, he dodged the super attack. Berter is pretty good. Honestly, the entire uh, Ginyu Force from the, the free-to-play Ginyu Force, really good. If you get it, all of them rainbow, 10 out of 10, they're pretty good. They're very reliable. Especially for the LR events, where you can only use the drop characters. Oh boy. If it wasn't for the LR, uh, the, the LR, the, the Ginyu Force, I would not have the Frieza, and uh, honestly, I would not have the Goku as far as it is, because it, it's, I think I'm halfway through on the medals. <laughs> I think I have like 400. So, still quite the grind waiting, but I'll do it eventually. I'll do it. it it's just really annoying how it's 700 medals, and there is literally no bonus to getting medals. Like, Frieza, I did it so easily. Because it had a bonus for using... I think it was if you used, actually, the... The Ginyu Force. I think it was just like that. Can't remember exactly. I think it was, yeah. You'd use the Ginyu Force and you'd get a metal reward. Not only metal, but like overall, you get extra rewards. And that was pretty awesome. That was really, really awesome. And boy! This Broly is tough. It's taking our time to beat him. Come on. Boo, you do no damage. Jesus Christ. Now, the turn we do more damage is definitely with Rose and uh, Super 17. So, that is pretty normal to happen. And I guess I'll do this. Yeah, this is a really good turn. Oh my god. Yes. We are definitely gonna get an Ultra here. That's awesome. I'll get rid of this red one. We don't need it there. Okay, this turn is gonna be really good. We're gonna do tons of damage here. Pretty good so far. So here we go. Ultra super attack, non-stop violence. And that's another thing, they've been, been improving the super attack so much recently. Like, the newer units have such crazy good looking super attacks. It's crazy. I do hope they update the older units as well, at some point. I know that's kind of a lot of work, maybe, but there's always hopes, you never know. Like, Extreme Awakening. When you Extreme Awaken them, they get, like, new super attacks. That would be awesome. Not just a little update with the rocks and the electricity. Okay, this turn, this thing is definitely gone. And there it is. I just... Okay. Connection lost with my phone and facecam freezing. I don't know why though. PC is fine though. I don't know. Like that just happens randomly. Okay, we back though. We back. Alrighty then. Continuing. Because <laughs> that's just random stuff that has to happen. I can never have a perfect video, guys. This is the thing with my channel. Uh, you want to see a perfect video? Uh, that doesn't happen. That just doesn't happen. There's always something weird. And this one, there's already at least two. There's the the phone blacking out, and there's the notifications. So, yeah. I can never do a perfect video, guys. <laughs> and bam! Yeah, this th he's gone. He needs to be gone. Ooh, 59k. What? I actually lost right at the end. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I mean, he barely has life, but oh my goodness. Okay, wait, we need to check progress. This is where I need to review. Okay. We will need, for level 3, Super EGL, Super Int, and Super Fizz. So, I can use... Um, 
super attack is already used. So I can use a uh, super SDR. Okay, okay, that's... I think we might be able to still pull it off. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting this, hello? See, this is what I say, if I'm not cautious, stuff like this happens. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? That's crazy. Okay, we have an extra, and it's actually one of the best ones. Super SDR. <laughs> have an extra. <laughs> We're fine. Oh my god. <laughs> I got scared for a moment, but we good though. We are good, and I'll bring this Goku because he's rainbowed, and why not? Let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay. We good though. We good. We don't need to worry. Now I will need to up the brightness, and there is some game notifications and everything. Okay. There it is. We got this, guys. We got this. We still got this. This team can definitely pull through. And Jiren is awesome. He's rainbowed, by the way. So, awesome unit here. And he's definitely gonna finish him off. There's no way. Okay, here we go. That's it. He's done for. He is done for. It doesn't matter if he supers. We should be able to tank it. Oh, boy. That's 100k damage. Good thing I'm gonna take him out. Because, holy... Wow! 100k! Okay, he's gone. <laughs> Jeez, it's almost a waste to use that team for this, but I wasn't expecting him to take out my Extreme AGL. The other time I was able to beat it with the Extreme AGL, but wow. Dang it. Pretty crazy. Okay, we cleared level 2. Finally on level 3 we go. Time for the level 3 and... Oh, more orbs. Awesome. That is awesome. Okay, time for level 3. And this is where it gets nasty, because these are pretty strong. Now, of course we do have the strongest teams now, but literally now, if one of the teams misses their objective, we lost. Now, AGL, it's almost impossible to lose here as well, because look at this screen. I mean, <laughs> what team is going to lose with this? Come on. These two are the leads, because that's the best. Vegeta because it's awesome, of course. This one because Extreme Awakened. This one is Vegito because it's Vegito. We always need a Vegito. Blue Goku does a lot of damage. And Caulifla, it's pretty good for dodging. This is like amazing top tier AGL super team, honestly. Super AGL, it's literally became the best. I do have a lot of good on um, Super STR. But man, Super AGL became... Insane. <laughs> Just insane. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take on this Goku Black, though. Now, Vegeta is best at first. Yeah, along with Super Saiyan 3. Or is Caulifla... Oh my gosh, Caulifla gives a lot of key. Uh, she might be needed there. Yeah, so I can pull off the Super. So I guess I'll do this. Uh, three key anywhere, I guess on that one, but then I feel like Goku is not gonna get a super and there it is My phone lost connection yet again Because it's my phone my phone just works like this Okay Not clicking on the screen so the super attack doesn't happen. So we'll be back. The screen should be back real quick <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, there it is. I feel like it's the USB cable. Has some issues. And there it is. Okay, we use this red orb. And we Gucci. Okay. We good though. Now Vegito gonna counter everything. So that's gonna be awesome. And there it is! I lost connection again! Can my phone just not suck? <laughs> Honestly? Can it just not suck? Can I do one proper video? <laughs> this this is the Tito Station, guys. This is the Tito Station, the channel that wants to become the best, but it just can't, no matter how hard it tries. <laughs> it just can't. Oh my god. Hey, look at Caulifla dodging. Not even bad. That's why I love Caulifla. She's pretty good. Really good unit. After Awakening, she got really good. Oh my god. Okay, I almost want to use my mouse to play. Because 
I'm always scared of moving my phone. And... Okay, wait. I need to put Goku up front. And Vegeta there. And... Okay. We'll use the yellow ones for Goku. You can take those. Uh, Vegeta... You know, you can actually take the blue ones. And this Goku will take the purples. So there it is. Pretty good. Pretty Gucci. Really nice turn though. These three are gonna do so much damage now to him. It's gonna be insane. Oh wait! Oh! Goku got this super uh, sealed. Dang. I did not even see that. And uh, yeah. Dang, I did not see that happening. Hello? There it is. There's the icon. His super was definitely sealed. Jeez. Oh, 75k to Vegeta. That's crazy. Look at this damage. Oh, 1 million. That's awesome. That's really good damage. On a very tough a challenge like this is where you can definitely measure the characters. Like, if they do 1 million at least, that's insane. Like, they definitely put out a lot of damage. And here, Vegito, Vegito. Yeah, Vegito needs to be the first one, because... Uh, wait, he has a super sealed, so I don't need to worry about him. So yeah, you definitely... Yeah, his attack is sealed. So, I'll just use this red one on him. Because he's not going to super at all. Vegeta, just clear up these purples so I can use the greens for cauliflower and bam okay we got this turn now as long as he doesn't super on Vegito I think he's down I think he's definitely gonna go down okay so far super uh, normal attacks which is good okay another counter bam now Super Saiyan 4 how much is he gonna do Hopefully it does a lot. I mean, it does always a lot, but... Ooh! Almost got him. Almost. Khalif will finish him off, though. Finish him off. She's maxed out. She's 10 out of 10. There it is. Good stuff, Khalif. Not even bad. Love it. Only two more to go. Can we do this before we reach one hour today? <laughs> This is quite a long video, like, honestly, I, I did not stream Cause, honestly, I just didn't really feel like streaming and I've been sick Again, I've been sick actually uh, Like yesterday I was literally dying And... Today I feel better But I'm, I still feel sick And... Uh, I didn't feel like streaming But this is almost like a stream Okay, now we go into Super Int, because we're going up against the Tech Vegeta. And this is another one that literally, like, I only have these characters, but it's an amazing team. It's, it's the best of the best. So, here it is. And here we go. The best of the best of Super Int. Really good. And then at the end, we're going to be able to pull off with the best of the best Fist team, which is another... Amazing team. Honestly, all the super teams are amazing. My super teams, I am definitely proud of them. They're all really, really strong. So that's why I really want to start taking on Super Battle Road, at least with my super teams. I feel like extreme teams are just not going to work. They're, they're not going to do it yet. They're definitely not going to do it. And here... Oh boy. Oh boy, do I wonder. Now, I know Trunks is more of a nuker. So maybe he's better off like that. Yeah, I will use these. And I'll use all of these purple ones on Trunks. Because he's more of a nuker. And Goku, you can do with the green ones. Clear out the green ones. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And oh boy, is he starting off strong. Oh, the dodge! Oh boy! Gogeta dodged. Dang. We got the dodge. Not even bad. Bam. That's one health bar down. And a bit more. Jeez. Okay, let's see Trunks. This Trunks actually is kind of underwhelming with time. It got really underwhelming. Like, he's supposed to be a nuker, I know, but... 
Like, even if you give him decent amount of uh, key spheres to him, like I just did, he still doesn't really do that much. I do not remember if he's 10 out of 10. Maybe he's not, actually. Maybe he's not, so maybe that's why he's a bit uh, underwhelming as well. So maybe it is a bit my fault. <laughs> and okay. Oh no, no. LR needs to be first, because LR is going to take that. I'm not going to rely on the dodges from Ultra Instinct. And we do have some rainbow spheres here. Maybe I could do this, or. Oh, I, I will definitely do this. That's going to Ultra. There it is. Okay, Goku, you only need four, so you can take these yellows. And Goku Jr., I don't like super, uh, to do super with him, because he lowers defense. But he's definitely going to get it now, so... So there it is. Hopefully Vegeta does not super uh, uh, Goku Jr. Because that's the only problem I have with this team, is Goku Jr. Like, he is not very reliable to tank. But he's rainbowed, so sometimes he does pull through, but it's kind of scary to leave him out there. And there it is, he's supered now, so so he should not super against Goku Jr. He should. Not saying that he's, that he's definitely not, because he could just super twice, but I'm, I'm counting that he's not. And, oh, the dodge! There it is, we got the dodge. And this super attack animation, I mean, it's pretty cool for, for the time it came out. And it's a pretty cool card. Pretty cool card, honestly. And boy. Oh boy. Okay. New turn, and let's see, what do we do here? Of course we want the Gogeta up first. And maybe I'll leave Trunks in the middle. He's already at max. Oh boy, he's definitely gonna appreciate the, the purple spheres, but Gogeta will have to take these. Oh, we messed up for Trunks. Well, it always happens. It's no problem though. Either way, we're gonna be able to finish him off this turn, I think. I think, we should be able to. Because we have plenty of health. And he's, he should be done, he should be done. Bam. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. If only he would attack again. He would do an additional, but no. That didn't happen, of course. Hope Slash. Or Slash of Hope. I don't know the name of it anymore. <laughs> and this Vegeta. This Vegeta, honestly, it's even better if you use it against an extreme enemy. But it still works out for this. It still works out. So there it is. That's the Tech Vegeta, and now we're finally on the last one, finally. Now, can you say this is an easy challenge? No, it isn't. It's definitely not an easy challenge. This is pretty tough. But we're finally at the last one. Intelligence Goku. And here we go. And they have a lot of uh, passives as well, like they... You cannot stun, you cannot uh, debuff and all that, so that makes it even harder to beat but again super fizz amazing team i have right here really good stuff so go tanks android 17 and then all the others and this is another top tier super team that i have here and this one can like this one definitely beats this goku like there's no way there's no way reaching this point this team cannot lose. It just cannot lose. There is no way. So, let's see how this team works out. And again, this is kind of to serve as a guide for you guys and like what teams you should use or if you have any similar characters, you know what to put together. And uh, overall, you just need to think. Extreme teams of every, every color, each color, and super teams of each color. And then what's stronger for you? Your super teams or extreme teams? And then use the weaker ones first. Because those are easier to take out. And then leave your best teams for the last ones. That's honestly the best way to go about it. And I do believe this Vegeta does counters. So I can't remember if he does counter. Like honestly I just forget about this stuff. Too many Vegetos. And then there's like a few that don't. So I always get scared that like, uh, 
Damage received from normal attacks minus 30%. Counter with dramatic. Okay, he counters. Okay, it's good. Okay. So he does counter. So I'm gonna leave him on the first slot. Just so he can, like, counter those attacks. And he does. Yeah, Gotenx is another one of those characters that he does a lot of damage. But uh, when he supers, he actually. Uh, his defense gets lowered. So, I'd rather just not risk it with Gotenks as well, so that's the best way to go about this turn, actually. We just let Gotenks in the middle, so he doesn't get attacked. And bam! Here we start with the counters. It's like little chip damage, but it's still damage. In the end, it always matters. It always matters. And there's the additionals. There we go. That's the Vegito. Oh my god, the Vegitos are so OP. And this team, I feel like it's one of the best as well because it does have two Vegitos on it. And that's crazy. Like, if they drop more Vegitos of other colors, oh boy. Like, those teams are always gonna be running the double Vegito the blue one and the Super Saiyan one. Oh man. It's crazy. Vegito cards are just way too OP in this game. <laughs> they really made Vegito OP. Like, it's not not really OP. That's just a way of saying it. It's not like broken. It's just that it's really good. Like, you're not gonna leave it out of the team if you have one. That's pretty much what I mean. And here, yeah, this is the best we can do. Yeah, honestly, this is the best we can do for this turn, so I'm gonna do this. And can, do I use the yellows? No, I'm not gonna use the yellows yet. We can actually relax and not use those yellows. Keep them for when they're needed. Because this turn they basically have super attacks, so... And here we go. More counters! <laughs> counter team. Literally the counter team. If you have two Vegetas that can counter on one team, that's your counter team. That's just how you should call it. You're gonna be countering everything. Look at this. Just the counter animation on the screen. And this Super 17 is so good though. Oh my god. I feel like that's why this uh, Super Fist team is really good. It's because there's a lot of passives that boost defense on Super Allies and Key. And this, it makes the team pretty, pretty buff. Oh my god, the damage he did. That's insane. That was so much damage. Not to mention, this Gohan is literally one of the best supports in the game, and it's on this team. So, that's why this team is so good. Okay, here we go. So, Kevl is here, the nuker. And, of course, we do need the Vegito up front. And, I mean, honestly, I feel like Gotenks is definitely going to finish it off, so... I don't think I need to worry too much. So, Kevl is not going to even be needed to nuke on this. Like, she can only have some orbs, I guess, so there. Take two of those. But uh, I feel like Gotenx is gonna finish him off. Gotenx does so much damage, though. We're gonna counter twice here. And Vegito's gonna super. We don't know how many times. He might even super three times, for all we know. So we're about to see. That's one. That is two. Oh my god. I said that just by it. It could happen. And okay, only twice. And there it is. But now Gotenks... Okay, there's this counter as well. Now Gotenks should definitely take him out. I feel like it should. Because... Oh! Almost! That was so close! And look at all that damage. See, that's why Gotenks is really not good to tank after he does a super. But we did survive though. So it's good. Kefla finishes him off. Okay, so Kefla did, did get its shine over here as well. And there it is! We beat Ultimate Clash Virtual Dokkan. Jeez, was this a ride. Oh my god, almost one hour here doing this challenge, but we did it though. We did it. We beat the second challenge of Ultimate Clash. Now, I don't know how to classify these. I'm calling these as challenge uh, on the thumbnail and the title as well, but uh, yeah, we did it. We, com we completed Battlefield. And here you can see the battle history, the teams we've used and everything. So, pretty good. Of course, there's no records because I've already done this. But, uh, but yeah, we did it. Unlocked some more stuff. 
And of course you can uh, do this up to three times and you get rewards here in the missions. I think I have pretty much everything. Yeah, besides the Alorkai. If I beat it one more time, I get that Alorkai and that's it, so... So yeah, pretty cool stuff here on the battlefield, so... Again, thank you all for watching this. I hope you guys did enjoy this and I do hope that this helps you guys more. You guys that maybe have an account that's more similar to mine, that's not like a whale that has like all the units available in the game, you know? Because, I mean, I do have plenty of them, but not all of them, so... So yeah, so hopefully it did help you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy as well, because these are pretty tough missions. It makes the game more interesting, makes it more challenging. And I can actually use like all of the potential I have on my characters. And uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of this. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, fire punch that like button down below because support is appreciated. And subscribe to join the Beast Army for more Dragon Ball content on the channel. So thank you all for watching. And I guess I will catch you all on the next one. So until then, everyone, as always, stay beast. See ya!